Right now at 6 o'clock, the latest on the breaking news. Several students hurt in a school bus crash in Johnston County. The whole thing caught on video as it happened. Take a look at your screen. You can see that bus lose control and then crashes off the side of the road. The highway patrol says a guy got into a fight with his ex-girlfriend and took off speeding and crashed into the bus. That man and his ex-girlfriend are now on the run and the search is on to find them. Hi everyone, good evening. Thanks for joining us here for Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Steve Daniels. Lauren is off. We've been on the air and on the scene of the breaking news since 4 o'clock here on Eyewitness News. And we just learned here in the breaking news center, 14 students were on board the bus and eight of them have been taken to the hospital. Let's head out live to the scene. Bianca Holman there just uh, at the crash scene south of Four Oaks on this two lane road that is in between NC 96 and 701. The crash itself happened there on Webb Mill Road. Fill us in, Bianca. Yeah, we're still out here on Webb Mill Road. The scene is now clear. It's quiet, but just a few minutes ago, it looked very different. But you can still sell where some of the remnants of that crash was. There's actually these uh, bird feeders in this person's yard. They're now crashed down into the ground because of what happened earlier. We want to take you to that footage where you can see uh, from a neighbor's home video where the bus was traveling down Webb Mill Road and a white Altima slams into that bus, causing the bus to veer off to the side of the road. Thankfully, it didn't turn over, but that that car turned over and the person riding in that car, a man jumped out and ran through a person's yard. We were able to speak with that neighbor who was able to show us that video from his camera. Here's what he had to say. Well, right away after the car crash happened, uh, there was a lady like a, a lady that saw it. I think she was behind the bus when it happened. She was driving behind the bus. She saw it and she saw the guy running and she was the one that told me that that he ran in the back of my house. And I, I went and checked on him, but he was probably long gone by, by then. He, he, he took off. Yeah, and so you can still see back out here live those tracks from where that Ultima overturned. We saw them uh, towing that Ultima away, and the airbags had deployed in that, in that vehicle. And also, we asked the uh, state troopers how they found that man. They said no, as of right now, they hadn't. They were actually able to get some details from the ex-girlfriend. That's how they found out how this all somewhat started. But then after they spoke with her, she left the area. So they're still wanting to get back in touch with her and find her. But that man is still out there. Actually, when we were on our way out here, we saw sheriff, several sheriff vehicles traveling around on the surrounding roads looking for that man who ran away from this hit and run. We asked, will that man face charges? The, uh, the, the highway deputies, they definitely tell me, for sure, that man will face a hit and run charge, so they are looking for him. And again, once we get more details, we will be sure to pass them along here on air and online. So again, they're looking for that man who hit a bus and ran away. Again, those students, uh, four of them, uh, several of them of that 14 were injured, uh, but mm -hmm. they were able to make it back to the middle school where they were able to be reunited with their family. So of course, we're going to try to learn more about this developing situation. We'll be passing on those details online and here on air. Back to you in the studio.